Day 31, Grand Enchantment Trail. These mornings are getting cold. Um, I've been, uh, I've been awake for a while, just trying to, to will myself out of the sleeping bag here. Like, my nose is cold, too. Um, so last night I was gonna head to the trailhead, um, for Diamond Creek. I'm on Diamond Creek, but on a road. <laughs> I was gonna go to the trailhead that's off the road. Um, but I came to a Ford, and I didn't want to do a cold Ford immediately before bed, especially since last time I did that my my shoes froze solid so luckily there was a big sandy area um kind of adjacent to it and i set up my tent there uh, but a lot of people use this road somebody came rolling through again i was, I was far enough away from the road that was okay um I came through at 4 30 and then another one at probably like six um but i am still i need to pack up my sleeping bag and i do not want to pack up my sleeping bag um, so once I do that and I pack up, I have a cold board first thing in the morning and then I'm going to head to that trailhead. I'm still on that, um, black fire alt heading towards the Continental Divide Trail. Oh boy. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Ah! The sunrise is pretty though. <sighs> That was a better option than the lesser of two evils, because my, uh, wow, I'm really getting sunrise right now. Uh, my shoes would have totally frozen last night again. Oh, look at this. Look who came up to the fence to greet me. Silhouetted by the morning light. That's awesome. Okay, so... Uh, this thing with the trailhead sign on the ground uh, is the Diamond Creek Trail head, um, at least for this section, entering the Aldo Leopold Wilderness of the Gila National Forest. Still getting some really cool morning light. Mm, doesn't really translate to video, but... Uh, there's some mist on this field over here. Uh, I was expecting an actual trail. Looks like I'm still on a road. I just had a truck pass me, so I have no idea what this route to the Continental Divide entails. Um, especially because it is just kind of a last minute uh, detour. I basically have a track to follow. So <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if there's any Fords. I don't know if it's a road the whole way. I don't know if it turns into a trail, um, but I guess I will find out. Okay, it's a little uh, later in the morning. Um, this trail has alternated between two track, single track. There's a little bit of single track in front of me and then kind of nothing. Um, but, you know, I'm noticing hiker footprints, um, but then I saw these other prints that are not hiker. You know what those are? Those look like bear to me. Those look like bear prints. Wow. I mean, you kind of know they're in the area, but you never see them. Those are bear prints. Okay. Look at this. More bear prints. Um, these are going in the opposite direction as the other prints. I don't know if there's just more than one bear here, or if there's just one bear that really likes to roam. But there's definitely evidence of bears right here. Uh, the only other evidence I saw was in the Penalenas. I saw some bear scat, but those are definitely bear prints. So most of the area I've been walking through so far, um, everything's just been maybe a little charred. This got crisped. Um, but like usually happens in a, in there up here, in a burn zone. It's usually like a good wildflower year after the burn. Um, which is why uh, the Magians like scared me so much because there was like no regrowth. Um, but yeah, these got, these got burned pretty bad. Been going in and out of burn areas. Um, sometimes there's trail and it's really nice and sometimes there's not. But what there is is water 
flowing through most of the canyon. And uh, uh, unlike downstream where I was yesterday, so you can see there's burn here too, but there's also green. There's burn and green here. Um, these are rock hops. So luckily, luckily no fords. There's actually enough loop in here to make it smell really, really good. This is another burned section. Uh, usually when there's a burn section, you can't see the trail at all. Um, I think I can see where it used to be, at least in this section. But yeah, it's just been a, it's been, been a variety of uh, different trail types again. Oh, look, there's a cairn that's left from the, uh, the fire. Sometimes those are still standing. But sometimes the trail is really good. And then other times kind of vague, and then other times just obliterated. But again, this is not like the super high intensity stuff that the main line of the Grand Enchantment Trail would have crossed. I've been so close to this junction where I leave Diamond Creek for so long, but but look at this. It's just all this deadfall. Um, it's really soft sand, and you're basically going cross country. At least there's still water. My GPS says that there is a trail here or that I go here. I do not see anything to go up that ridge line. Um, it's funny, there's a bunch of confused footprints right here too. Um, the, uh, the far out guide um, actually has a trail connecting a little further up. I might just drop my pack and scout that out. See if that's that's anything. Otherwise, it's kind of cross country up this. Woo! Found it. It was actually just a little back from that point, and it is an actual trail, so that's good. Leaving Diamond Creek for good. Um, I do have to correct myself earlier when I'm like, oh, I can rock hop. I rock hopped in the beginning, rock hopped in the end. But majority of it was Fords, and my socks are t so torn up from how many Fords I've done. So right now, starting my ascent up, you can't even see it, to the ridge that the Continental Divide Trail is on. Um, depending on the conditions of these trails, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it all the way up today, but just see how far I can get. Well, I have to say, uh, so far the trails have been great, and then this is a road. Uh, the trail I connected uh, Diamond Creek with was almost perfect. Had a little bit of erosion uh, around one of the drainages, but otherwise, great tread. And again, this is a road. The sun is setting through the charred remains of this forest. Um, so I'm really, really close to the CDT. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, what the sun is going to be like when I actually get up there. I probably will just camp at the trail junction. Um, so that's where I'm going to end the video today. Oh my god, would you look at all this dirt covering me? Yeah, I went through a burn zone. Oh my gosh, I've got a mustache. Okay, um, anyway, tomorrow's pretty easy about what's going to happen. Uh, just following the CDT north all day.